All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, I'd make a video about uh, you know, removing, cleaning your caps, cleaning your brushes of the spray paint. If you, if you've dealt with this, you'll know that spray paint is sticky and can be a pain in the ass. All right. Now, like the caps, you know, if they get clogged up in here and they're not easy to clean, you can't just shove something in there and it cleans out. You can get a little bit out, but typically it gets all right. Um, I don't really know a good way of cleaning it other than the stuff that I found. And I've tried a lot of stuff. And you don't want clogged up caps. They spit or spatter. They just, they're gross. And they ruin a painting very quickly. Uh, another thing is, see your brushes. Even if you try to clean this right afterwards with some water or something or mineral spirits or paint thinner. And I've tried minerals, mineral spirits and paint thinner. I think mineral spirits work better than paint thinner. Um, weird, right? But it's just, it still leaves it all sticky. It doesn't get it all off. It's a pain in the butt. Um, look how sharp that is. Look at that thing. It's like a little Roman freaking spear. You just... Uh, 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 you know, I'm going to kill somebody with that thing. Crap. All right. Um, but I found this stuff here that works out pretty well. Goof off. And I always thought it was goo off. Been calling it that. Never pay attention to the other F. It is raining really good outside now, so if you guys can, I'll talk a little louder, and I apologize, but it is going, it is pouring. Um, goof off, pro strength, graffiti remover, graffiti spray paint, so you know this is going to work. So, what you need to do is get yourself two jars, two jars, two cans, two tin cans, two real good bowls. Um, I'd avoid plastic, I think here on the back it tells you that uh, it can eat plastic. I think if you leave it in there long enough, it will, but I haven't seen it eat, like, parts of the brushes or anything. And these are, these bristles are not hair. These are that synthetic bristle crap. So, you know, you would think it would eat that, which I bet if you leave it in it long enough, it will. Um, but you want one with water. Okay, this one had water. The water dried up. It's been a while since I've used my brushes. And the other jar, which is grosser than this one, with you spray a little bit of this stuff in it, which I'll go ahead and put it in this one here, but you spray a little bit in there. Just enough that you can bury the tip of this in it and then just put it in it. Smash it around just a little bit. You know, don't ruin your bristles. Try to just smash the way you want to keep your bristles straight. You don't want to fan them out and ruin your brush. And, and just clean the thing off until the bristles move really well and you got it you know they're gonna still look gross they're gonna look they're gonna look gross they're gonna look black it's gonna be nasty this stuff has a smell of like orange peel so you know it's I think it's got that orange peel cleaner stuff in it or whatnot to help remove things um, but just get it to where it's pliable and movable and then transfer this over to your jar of water get it down on the bottom mash it lightly roll it around you know how, how you would do your brush to keep it pointed you don't want to fan your brush out and ruin it um which i have done to a pointed brush and my brush now looks like something from you know something from beyond the grave it's it's horrible um and then go back do it over here again don't you don't have to empty the jar out it can be gross down in there but you just you're just trying to get the fibers to open up back for the water move it around so you'll change the water a lot before you'll change this and empty this out but you get that you get it to where it's moving real good you put it in some water um i would get a jar of water now but now that it's pouring i'm not going out there what isn't rain water um and you get it to where your bristles will move which i don't know if you can see that really well or not but see they've opened up and they're moving and that is what we what we want here so you just smash it around in there a little bit you just kind of like you're painting just have fun with it you know um you might want to wear your mask while spraying this stuff as well or do it outside because you know if it can remove spray paint you don't want that in your lungs i'd imagine it will remove a, a lung and everything around it now this works for the caps um i find that uh some caps will get so clogged that this stuff won't get in it. I wish we can get like a spray, one of them, like come on the WD-40 cans or whatnot, a little red nozzle that we can stick in that hole and just and spray it real good. That would be great. But spray the hell out of it. 
you know, tear the hell out of it, you know, then rinse it off in the water stuff, give it a couple of spritz on your, on back on your can or something, and then spray the hell out of it again. You do that a good couple of times, you'll get it clean, it'll work. Some caps, you can't save it. Caps are a pain in the butt to, to save, in my, my opinion, these caps, and I think that's why people hate them so much, but, you know, you, you work with what they give you. Um, unless you want to buy the little adapters that go to spray paint to use the other ones. Um, but this works really well on your brushes, on anything else that the spray paint's stuck to, like your tools. Um, but it does help the caps for the most part, unless you let them get so clogged that it's just, it's never going to get through it. So that's what this stuff is. One more time. Goof off. Pro Strength Graffiti Remover. I got it at Walmart. I found it at Home Depot. I found it at Lowe's. Other box stores. Ace. Every place. You know, here I am. I'm just, I'm just shouting out everybody here, man. They should be paying me. Um, but you can find it there at any of those stores, and it works great. Now you don't have to have it if you don't use brushes. If you don't use these caps, or you know, well, I hear you out there. All right. Woo. It's pouring good. All right. So if you don't use these caps or you don't care and you go through paint quick enough, it isn't going to matter, then that's fine. Um, as for some, like putting a bunch in here and letting this sit in it, you can do that for just a few minutes. I wouldn't do it no more than maybe four or five minutes because after you get it off, you get it clean. Uh, the, the tip of the cap here, the black part, has this little, I guess they're glued in there, and that stuff eats that glue. So then you'll put it on your can. You'll put it on the spray paint can. You'll press it down the spray, and that black thing there, your, your, your nozzle there, will just shoot out of there. It'll just fly out of there across the damn room, and so that doesn't quite work to to soak it. Um, but that's my tip for cleaning the brushes, cleaning the caps, anything else that you might have spray paint stuck to, that you're wanting to get it off your other tools. Um, I hope that helps. That is the best thing I have found. Uh, so if you're if you're painting and you need it, I hope this video helps you. Um, please check out our other videos. Subscribe to the channel, and check out our Facebook. Should be in a link in the video down below. We'll see you next time.